Hey everybody, I'm Joey, and today we're gonna turn up the flavor with some tasty bacon steak butter. And it's so easy, you can make it right at home. So follow me, and let's mix it up. recently published a video titled Flay Mignon in a cast iron skillet and it already has over 50,000 views. So if you're looking to make a great steak at home, you should check it out. But in that video, we promised to share our recipe for bacon steak butter, which is also known as compound butter. But it's not confounding butter, just a simple way to savor the flavor on your next steak. And it's so easy to make, you'll never use fake butter again. You can even serve it up with a side of tonic and gin. So don't be shy, give it a try. There's no reason why you shouldn't have this in your fridge. And later I'll season with time, but now I'll stop with the rhyme. As I mentioned, we are making compound butter, so we are going to need actual butter. I did not make this myself, just bought it, salted, and cut into cubes. Next, we're also gonna need bacon. Here, I have a cup of bacon, which I've already cut and chopped up finely. You can run it through a food processor, but I like some little chunks in there. We're also gonna need some herbs. So I have here some, about two tablespoons of diced scallions, a tablespoon of thyme, as I mentioned earlier, as well as a tablespoon of parsley. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this all together and put it in the refrigerator ch to chill for about two hours. So let's get started. All right, so here's two sticks of butter. Let's get that all in there. Next, a cup of bacon, as I mentioned earlier. The good stuff. There we go. Herbs, thyme, parsley, and scallions. We are next going to add just a little bit of pepper. And some kosher salt. Just a pinch. We are using salted butter, so we don't need too much. And the bacon's going to have a lot of salt to it. Next, we're going to get this whisk. And let's stir it up. All right, so now that it's mixed up, it's time to get it on some parchment paper and roll it up so that we can cut it into slices and put right on top of our steak. So let's get this off the fork first. Next, get this all onto the parchment paper here. All right. Next, we just kind of want to form it into a little bit of a log over here. Get it nice and even. Do our best job we can. Now that we have it roughly formed, and it just takes a little bit of work to get it there, we're gonna roll it up. Now, I'm sure this part is real easy for some of you at home, but for others, it might take just a little bit of work. And it's just like this. Just wanna roll it into a nice circular shape. And this, the reason we're doing this is that when we, we're ready to put it on top of a steak, we can just take one slice out of it and it will sit on top of there real nice and pretty. What I'm gonna do is just twist the ends. Twist that end, and twist that end. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this in the fridge and let it chill for a few hours before we cut it into slices. And it will hold in the refrigerator for about two weeks or the freezer for about three months. It will definitely turn up the flavor on your next steak, but it's not just for steaks. It's a great accoutrement to pastas and fresh vegetables as well, really. You should try putting this butter on top of some fresh green beans with a little bit of Parmesan and pepper, and it is just tremendous. Our motto at Red Meat Lover is cooking meat made easy, and that's just what we strive to show you in every single video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up like, or subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. We release a new video every single month. And remember, man cannot survive on steak alone. You must also have butter. I'll see you next time.